Hello everyone, and welcome back to my Minecraft ne Technic Pack tutorial guide. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the Red Power mod to wire up your nuclear reactor to run for however long you want, and have however long you want of a cooldown without having to design some huge, crazy redstone contraption. Um, I don't know the exact size of this, but it's actually pretty small as you can see, and this system here will actually allow you to allow the reactor to cool down for however many seconds you'd like, as well as to run for however many seconds you'd like. So of course there is some a little bit of basic math required in order to figure out exactly how long your generation and cooldown times actually are. But other than that, it's pretty simple. Um, so to get started, the only things you're going to need are redstone, two redstone timers, which don't really show up in my hand, and uh, as well, two redstone toggle latches. Alright, so, as you can see here, we have a redstone timer here, and a redstone timer here, with a redstone latch in front of each. And, apparently, I forgot a little bit of the redstone there. Alright, there we go. So, the way this works, the is this the redstone timer on the left is going to represent the cooldown timer so i'm going to say for example the reactor has to cool down for seven seconds or let's say six seconds and i add an extra second on just in case something goes wrong so seven seconds for that timer and this toggle latch here um will obviously switch the redstone signal between the left and the right now this redstone uh torch over here is just there to keep them from ticking constantly as I don't want to have to keep listening to that. I will break it and show you how it works later. Um, but as you can see, the when the toggle latch is pointed to the right, it will send a re the red redstone signal to the right, deactivating this timer over here, which is our generation timer. And it will also send redstone over to our nuclear reactor, or what would be the nuclear reactor if I actually put one there. Now this reactor over here is the generation timer, and this for 11 seconds just for example as well. Now this toggle latch is kind of interesting. Um, when it's set to the left it is basically set in the off position and when it's toggled to the right it needs to be toggled back to the left before it's toggled or before it's used again. Now if for some, if you have this set up and it does not toggle back to the left after being switched to the right um, it will essentially break your uh, redstone setup and will basically blow, blow your world up if it allows the reactor to stay on. Um, and I've run this a couple times and I've forgotten to do this and it's either screwed up the redstone in the middle here by flicking it on and off constantly or by allowing the reactor to run twice as long as it's actually supposed to. So the fix for that is to make sure that when the redstone goes around to the right, when it's triggered to the right, it goes around to the right, and then of course it's going to cross this bridge. But before it crosses the bridge, it needs to come back to the opposite side of where the timer is, which will switch this toggle latch back to the left, which will essentially reset this toggle latch. And every time it's triggered, it will do the same thing. It'll switch to the right, send the signal, and then reset itself. The signal will continue across this bridge, and will toggle this latch to the left, which will essentially turn off this timer. Now, I'll break this torch so you can kind of see this in action. As you can see, this timer is going to go around and it's going to toggle the latch to the left, which will allow our generation timer to run and the reactor to run. And once this finishes, and this is all instant because there's no redstone repeaters required, it just it sends a signal instantly. Now this toggle turns the reactor off and allows our cooldown timer to run. Alright, so that's pretty straightforward. Um, now, of course, if you want to turn this off, like let's say you're on a server and you want to make sure that this isn't going to explode when you log in and then log back, like log off and then log back in, as is as reactors are prone to doing with redstone setups, all you need to do is either have a switch or a redstone torch or, a, well, not a button, obviously, but a redstone torch or a switch placed next to the redstone for the cooldown timer which will put it in a permanent cooldown state after the generation timer finishes and then you simply either flick the switch or break the redstone torch to 
allow the cooldown to finish the cooldown cycle. And once the cooldown cycle is finished, we'll do this. Now, of course, there is an alternative. You can you can place one here, like so. And as you can see right now, this will actually allow it to be in permanent off status. Um, so you can either have it here, you can have it here. I would recommend putting it there. Is it just a, just a little bit of a boost? Is it forces it to run at least one cooldown before running so it's a bit safer than the alternative of putting it here and as you can see there we go so in order to build this we're going to want a redstone timer and a redstone timer and i'm just going to turn these off because i hate listening to that ticking when i'm building and then we're going to place our redstone toggle latches or red power toggle latches 90 degrees to the timers. If you try to place them the same way as you can see, the torches are going to be facing the wrong directions. Something like so. I'm just going to pick that up. Next, we're going to place redstone here to the left. And of course, you can extend this if you want. It doesn't really matter. I'm placing it as close together as possible to show the compacted version. And I'm just going to flick this switch to the left to permanently toggle this into the off position. Now, as you can see, if I break this torch and I switch it back to the right, it will run for seven seconds and then turn itself back off. And there we go. So I'm going to toggle that into permanent off state just in case I switch it by accident. So the next thing we want to do is we want to set up the redstone to the reactor. So we're going to run a line like this. I'm going to connect it to our left toggle latch. And then I'm going to connect this redstone also to the generation timer so that when the redstone or when the reactor is off so is the generation timer next we want to talk this to the left so it starts in its off position we're then going to place the redstone here and we're going to build ourselves a little bridge we're going to build kind of a stairs like so three stones across and eat the steps of the stairs directly in front of the toggle latches. And then we're going to run redstone across the bridge. As you can see, that's connected up and over. Now, it doesn't look like it, but this redstone will actually trigger, will, will in fact trigger these toggle latches. So if I let this run, and you know what, I'm going to break this one, and I'll break this one. And as you can, well, I gotta, I'll change the timer up to 11 seconds as well. So as you can see, this timer is going to run for 11 seconds. So the nuclear reactor will be on for 11 seconds. Once this finishes, it will trigger this, and then it will reset itself. And then this, the cooldown timer will run, and the reactor will be off. And again, if you want to turn it off permanently, set a torch here. And this will run one last generation, and then it will be permanently off. And then by whenever you log back in, break it or flick the switch, and it will force it to run one cooldown. So for example, if you were to log off in the middle of a cooldown cycle, when you come back on, this will force it to do an entire new cooldown cycle just in case. So that's the safest way to run this. I hope this was helpful, you guys. Um, I figured this out over the Mar over March break, spring break, whatever you guys want to call it. Um, and I thought I'd, show it, I'd share it with you guys. Um, I know a lot of people seem to think that it's it's got to be really complicated in order to set up a proper way of uh, turning off your nuclear reactor at the set times that you need. I just wanted to show you guys that it is actually really easy and is really compact. You could even, you know, you could box this, box this little setup into a room outside the reactor. Or, I mean, heck, if you built a big enough reactor, you could even put it in the reactor just to, you know, make it look a little bit nicer on the inside. Um, but yeah, hopefully this was helpful, and again, you know, switch, torch, whatever. Uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully this helped you guys out. If it did, you know, leave a like. If you want to keep track of it even more, favorite it, that'd be great. Uh, subscribe if you're interested in what I've been showing you guys. Uh, again, thanks for watching. Good luck, and have fun.